this episode, I take my beastly tinny on its first offshore adventure. Targeting pelage, both baits and lures on my local inshore reefs. I also take some good mates on a trip and an absolute madness unfolds. You're not going to want to miss this one. <laughs> oh, it's chaos. Have a go there! I arrived at the spot shortly after first light and quickly set about getting some baits rigged and in the water. You never really know when the fish will start coming through, so it pays to work quickly and get at least one bait out straight away so you don't miss any early opportunities. I'm gonna use a couple of different presentations to try and get a bite. The first one is a 25 gram slug, small metallic bait fish profile. I'm gonna chuck that out, let it sink all the way to the bottom and wind it back as fast as I can. Bit of a reaction bite. The other one, I'm gonna sit this in the rod holder. That's a small pilchard with a single hook and some wire. And I'm gonna drift that back under a float and hopefully that will attract a bite as well. Anyways, let's get them out there. With two baits now staggered behind the boat, I could now get stuck into some spinning. Some days they will definitely prefer one method over another, so it pays to cover all bases until you crack a pattern. All right. There's a hook up. There's a little hook up. Get this guy out of the way. Well, good morning, ladies and gents, and welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Out in the tinny this morning, chasing the infamous spotty mackerel. Oh, and we may have just, we may have just hooked one. Taking a, taking a nice little run there. Fishing a combination of oh, baits and lures. With a bit of luck we can show you this guy. Feels like a nice fish. Might need a gaff. It's uh, that time of the year. I thought what better time to crack out the tinny and do some inshore fishing. Then summer, hopefully just about to get a look at this guy before he runs around the anchor rope. Oh, there he is. He's a nice spotty. He's probably not done though. Probably not done. In we go. And we have ourselves our first spotty mackerel of the day. Whew. Really nice fish too. What a cracker. Good to get a bit of blood on the deck early. Now this bait is drifting out. Better make sure he's ready to rock and roll. Where's my D hooker? don't feel like getting a hook through oh, or a uh, hooks out well there you go my first spotty mackerel out of the tinny that sun's just about to pop we're bright and early, and I'll tell you what, that is a cracking way to start the day. Good bit of drag going off him as well. Fought well, it's quite a nice size one. And he is gonna go an absolute treat on the barbecue. These guys are fantastic eating, as good as they are a sport fish. So, 
he will be coming with us. If possible, I'd love to get two or three. Got uh, plenty of family events coming up, being the Chrissy season. So some fresh spotty mackerel is never gonna go down poorly. Anyways, guys, thanks very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoy this episode. Hopefully this is the first of many of the morning. Oh, no. Give this guy a bit of a brain spike and bleed. And get that guy straight on the ice. He's a really nice fish. Good length to him. Get him cooling down. Lovely. Well, I was just letting that bait out. We've just hooked another one. He feels like he's hooked a bit weird though. Potentially in the back, so I'm just gonna go nice and light on him. He, I can, he's fighting weird, so might have foul hooked him. Just gonna back off the drag a bit. See if we can't baby him in. Didn't even have the camera set up. Yep, there he goes. Foul hooked. Oh, there we go. Coming towards me. What happened there? Well, that's no fun. Two bite offs in very quick succession. No good at all. It was pretty evident that the spotties were here and on the chew, but putting number two in the boat was proving rather challenging. <clears throat> Been getting smashed on the baits, but uh, tell you what, preventing them from biting off the rig has been very difficult. Either they're too keen or I don't know. It's not usually an issue, so I'm just going to put a lure in front of them and see if that helps. There's definitely some here. A few boats starting to hook up now as well. It's always a good sign. There's some coming through on the sounder there now. There's school mackerel, right there. Another missed opportunity. Starting to add up. All you can do is re-rig and get another bait straight back out.
Got him that time. What is going on? Oh, I don't know, guys. I do not know. <laughs> Not sure if they're sharks or what. After a bit of a lull, one of the floating pilchard rods went off and this time it stayed connected. Well, we've got another little hook up here. Ate the floating pilchard. Let's see if we can get a look at it. There's been a few sharks cruising around so. Not gonna um not gonna mess around with this one too much. There's the float. Oh little cobia. Well, here's a bird variety. Looks like we've got a small cobia here. I don't think he's. Nah, he's not going to be legal, that one. See if we can get him on the old lip grips. He's playing up though. He's the only attacker. Might go. There you go. That is a very cute little cobia. I don't know if that's legal. I'm not even going to check. He's pretty small. He can go back. These guys get a heap bigger. We'll see him when he's uh, 30 kilos, hopefully. Bit of bike catch. See you, mate. Good bit of fun. Break up the boredom a bit. Oh, a bit going on there, guys. Just had another. Hook up, we've picked up the other line as well. Bit of a cluster. But we have the target species on here. Nice spotty mackerel. Let's see if we can't put a gap in him. We can't. Hot damn. Whew. We got one. Oh no. Well ladies and gents, there's mackerel number two. Not as big as the first one, but still a lovely fish. And of course we got that cobia as well. By this stage, I'd turned the cameras off and was halfway through pulling the anchor in. Then, out of the blue, the floater rod went off again. Well, last minute.
one last one. How good is that? Little schoolie this time. Little consolation fish. Matter of fact, he can go home. Guys, you know I love nothing more than promoting safety gear to my fellow boaties, particularly the GME PLBs and waist belt PFD combo that I think you should be wearing anytime you're solo on a boat or in a small boat like I am today. I was just out chasing spotty mackerel off the inshore reefs here. Got a couple of nice ones too. But I just wanted to show you another cool bit of kit that's just come out. This guy here, now this is a GME GX75 VHF Marine Radio. Now these are brand new to the GME range along with the 865. Now the one I've been using, this one here, the 875, has DSE or Digital Selective Calling. It's got the distress button on the side, flashlight on the top. It also has waypoint navigation, so it connects into the satellite and gives you GPS location. Now, that guy here, absolutely cracker. If you've got a small trailer boat and you're planning on doing some light offshore work or you're fishing the bay, something like this is a must have. Here, the GX865 is more of your standard basic VHF marine radio. It still connects you to the Coast Guard and anyone on the VHF channels, it just doesn't have all the fancy bells and whistles as well. So guys, if you're planning on getting out and about and you don't have a marine VHF radio installed in your boat already, make sure you check out these. You can find more information on the GME website right here. They are a must have safety item. Check them out. Back at home, I was halfway through giving the tinny the salty captain treatment when I thought to myself, you know what, bugger it. I'm going back tomorrow, but this time I'm taking the reinforcements. A cheeky boat swap and I was back at dawn the next morning with some mates from BCF, Maka, Rushy and Hazza. They'd been keen on a trip for ages to make some summer content for their socials and well, it doesn't get much better than screaming reels and bending rods. Unless of course you add in an absolutely insane sunrise as well. The plan was very similar to yesterday's, float back some baits and spin some lasers. But I wasn't taking any chances and decided to try increase my odds with a pilchard cube burley trail. After 40 or so fishless minutes on both techniques, but with some promising signs showing, it was Macker on the spin that made the first breakthrough. Where was that car? Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Where are those Macker. Don't go too hard, you've only got small little, small little crabs. Yeah. You just send that gap up, Rushy. Yeah. <coughs> nice one, mate. Got him. There we go, spotty mackerel. First one in the morning, on the slug, fast burn and just crack. They go so hard, they're pretty solid too. Get some it? more, eh? Yes. Oh! After swapping his pilly for a medal, Rushy was next to get in on the action. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, oh. Yeah, one into him, one into him. Rushy's on. Oh, there we go. go. Yes, Rushy. Oh. Oh. Straight in the uh, yes. Yeah, the boys. Yes, Rushy. Oh, that's a good one too. Nice. Let us sing, baby. He's having a proper go. I think I've got a 
like a spine, man. Really? Yeah. Bang, bang. Ooh. Yeah, Sammy, coming up now. Yeah. You! The boys. Not bad one. Yeah, the boys. Well done, Rashi. Number two, they're starting to come on the chew now. Nicely done. Elksy dropped one as well. Bleeding all over Sammy's boat. Good thing the boys are coming to help clean the boat. Despite the proven success on medals, I will still determined to cash in on all my burlying efforts with a fish on the floater. There we go. Good God. Oh no. Oh no. Costly. Good hit. Yeah, proper. That was that was him. Live or? No. no. Yeah. Killy? Yeah. Yeah. Far out. Big miss. Oh, I just pulled the hooks. Snippy or? Nah, just pull the hooks. <coughs> Cost Lee. Okay. It's a big miss there from SH. SH. See ya. Now it was Elksy's time to shine. Oh, yeah, Elksy! Yes! He's on, Elksy! Go, mate. Yeah. Oh, you might need to tighten your drag a little bit. Oh, Elksy's yes, on. Mate. Yes, mate. Oh, right, lads, when his fish comes around, start peppering out the front there. Go, Hazard! Get it, son! Right, it's coming around left. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, go down with Rushy. Go along. Swap, yeah, swap. Go on, Hazard. Yes, Harry. <laughs> Good to have you down the back here, mate. Head down, head down, head down. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. I'm just going to hook these guys. Ooh, ooh. Angry one. Got him. Harry? Yes, yes uh, Is that your first spotty? First spotty ever. On the spin, How bro. Good. I just cast where oh, Harry did. Oh, okay. Yes, Rushy. Oh, he's a big boy. Your, he's, a good, he's a better one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that boy. That's a big boy. Big boy. Nicely done, mate. Yes, sir. Nicely done, good? mate. On the spin. Oh, my goodness. Lovely fish, mate. All right. Yes, Give me a With all the lads on board, it was time to join the dark side and start spinning. Surely it must be my turn to bend a rod. Oh, 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 oh. Sammy's on. Right, yo. Cyclone Petunia. Watch out there, Maka. Maka, you're under. Oh. 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 Spinning boy? Yeah. I oh, know, we're over the top, oh, yeah. we're good. Huge. Big play from the anchor line there. Big dodge. <laughs> Any good, you Chuck us that gaff. Oh, he's decent. Oh. Good. Oh. Oh, that's one. I can't see that lure. He's having a go. He has got that though. Down the hatch? Yeah. Good Hang in there, hooks, please. Here we go. There we go. Short Aaron Rush. Right. That's a good Should have never doubted you. My man. What a cracker. Well done, Sammy. I caught a fish. <laughs> oh, That's Look the it. best gaff shot of the day, by the way. Yeah. Have a go at that um yeah, not that hooker. Oh, lucky you hit him the first time. Just hanging. Well, it's nice to contribute. That's a cracker. Real deep fish. It's been some small ones and some really nice ones around today. But uh, it's good to get it amongst them with the boys, having a cracking time. And I think we've all got a few fillets for the barbecue for the weekend now. How good is that? After landing my fish, the ocean seemed to come alive with packs of spotty mackerel popping up <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> demolishing Thank bait you. balls off the surface. As you can imagine, you the action Jesus. was about to get wild. Yeah! yeah. yeah. That's, a... yeah. That's not a... Um... That's proper. That's not a tuna. Are we? 
Oh, Gina? That's proper. Yes, wait, 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 Harry. Wait, 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 wait. Harry's on. Yeah. Is that the red and whitey? Nice. Yeah, sorry. Oh, fins up. No, that's the mackerel. Yeah, it's the legit mackerel. Yeah. Fins up. Oh no! Oh, you drop it? Go again. Go right again. at the boat. Damn it. So Boy, big boils over here, Samuel. Yeah, look at it. Oh, yeah. Same? Yeah. Yeah, well, I saw one jump. They're definitely mackerel. Yeah, right. Oh, he's back oh, on. How's it, boy? Come on. Yeah. Oh, I nearly pulled him in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Go that one. Oh. Hang on to him. <laughs> go um, just go down into that little corner so you give yourself a bit more leverage. Okay, go Oh no. Drop him. No. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, yep, 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 yep. yep. So Watch so your head there, mate. I'm just kidding. Watch your head. Oh. Drop it. Oh, yep. Oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just that middle rod, and we're sweet. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, he dropped it. That is warm. That is how oh, good. How you there is spotties boiling. Gap shot. <laughs> well, that's epic. Don't see that every day. Oh, they're still going. Oh, yeah, right. I see the problem. Spotties boiling over there. The boys, there's hookups, drops. I just got another one. I don't think we need any more fish, we're just having a bit of fun now. <laughs> oh, it's chaos. Yep, 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 yep. I'm so sweaty. Look at my good, face. good audio. <laughs> Oh, I'm around someone. I can feel someone. That's you, Macca. Up, under, it. here we're good. You guys good? Oh, who knows? Macca, you want to come under me? Come under me. Nah. Oh, sawn off. That better not have been your doings, Macca. <laughs> well, you blame the fish. Moving braid trumps other braid. <laughs> Happy to de-hook? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, quick picky, but... Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, Mark. He's going to be um. Yeah. Oh, he is a good fish. Yeah. Grab his tail. It's good for the camera. That's good for the camera. That's a good one. Yeah, keep still. Yep. Oh, hold on to him, hold on to him. Bang. Send him. Nice, Maka. Rushy, send him down. Maka, can you go on the other side of the boat, oh. Come on. <laughs> well, ladies and gents, that was a cracker of a sporty session. Probably one of the better ones I've been a part of. Um, especially when they're busting up on the surface like that. Madness. Harry? So good. Boys? Very good. Loved, Loved it. it. Loved it. I think we got a couple each for a feed as well, so that makes it even better. Mm. But you can't catch spotties all day. We looked like we could have, but uh, we're going to have a bit of a Hail Mary and try and catch a marlin. Got three setups here. We're going to put some skirts out, cover some Ks, see if we can turn a reel with a big stick face. Let's who's on strike? Well, let's sort this <laughs> right out. <laughs> right out now. Let's, let's, who's on strike? I reckon you guys, paper, scissors, rock it. Done. Here we go. Oh, oh hang on. That's hang on. One up. <laughs> I'm climbing. It's the it. best of three, obviously. Oh, one You want up? Oh! oh, oh Rushy. Great chat from Rushy. <laughs> He's always been a big talker. I'm too shocked. I'm too shocked to talk. I'll, I'll take that though. Down one. Two. Fair play, fair yeah. play. Okay. Let's get him out. Got three out the back. Apparently I'm first up, so fingers crossed if um, the real screams we can uh, get one on. The real screams we start screaming with it. That's the deal. That's a short rod. Got the old uh, fat boy on that one. Actually got a spread, spread of three fat boys. That's long quarter. And uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that far out in the back, but there's a bit of commotion for some reason. Little secret squirrel technique that I'll show you later. If it works, that is. If it doesn't, we never tried it. And it's a silly <laughs> thing to do. All that was left to do now was kick back and put in the Ks. Judging by the amount of bait I was seeing, the water temp and color, we are in with a bloody good chance of crossing paths with a pelagic or two. We just needed luck to be on our side. Well, it was not meant to be, despite absolute hurler conditions. Have a go at it. No dice. Looked good, we thought it might have happened, but not today. That's the spread we ran, so there definitely wasn't any fish down there. Can't swim past that. Next time. Time to head for the hills, boys. You, you. These boys don't know about the you situation. A lot of editing to be done in this video. Well, say it once, I'll say it again. What a cracker couple of days. A little bit of a wobbly start out of the tinny day one. But geez, didn't we do a number on them today. We kept two each for a feed, so we certainly didn't over take our limit. We just got enough to eat fresh. We've got Friendsmas coming up this weekend, so. I'm on fish tacos and I think some fresh spotty mackerel. Absolutely sensational. Anyways, let's knock the fillets off this big one. A couple of nice different classes there. Something like that though, really solid fish. That's your kind of school sauce fish and then some big dogs in there as well. Lovely. Tell you what, that's not a bad return from just two fish. It's probably probably five or six kilos, or probably probably five kilos. No, you're right, maybe six kilos of uh, of flesh there. Yeah, it's such a good return fish. So you know, only take what you need, what you can eat. They do freeze very well uh, too. So you know, keep that in mind. If you want some fish for later in the year, freeze them up. Beautiful smoked, beautiful on the barbecue. Just a really, really good eating fish. Unreal. Well, ladies and gents, that is all we've got time for today. Really hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget, 
If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by heading to my website, sammyhitskyfishing.com and grabbing yourself some merch. There's heaps available, fishing shirts, hats, D hookers, deep drop rigs, all sorts of stuff, hoodies, the whole lot's there. Go check it out if you're chasing some kit. Guys, once again, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're all safe and well. Hope you're catching a few fish, and I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky Fishing Adventure. Cheers.